themselves are on a three-game losing slide. It all adds up to two desperate teams seeking an Indigenous round win as we welcome you to the Adelaide Entertainment Centre and the continuation of round 11. Nice little piece. And, and to be honest, they played pretty well overall in this game as we look at the champion starting five. Kai Soto does get that career start and it's going to be a very, very enticing matchup to see how he goes against Aaron Baines. Adelaide are vulnerable and knowing that they've won their last three games against Adelaide by a combined margin of 13 points. 8, 4 and 1, but it's a winning record. So they'll take anything they can get at the moment, the Brisbane Bullets, as we get underway from the Entertainment Centre in Adelaide. And Brisbane have controlled the tip. They'll have first chance to open scoring here. Sophie uses Mitchell. They roll it down to Banks. Just couldn't handle the pass. Adelaide running. Cleveland. Franks in support. Others joining in. Now goes Solo. Oh, what a finish. His first start. And he dunks on them inside 20 seconds, guys, Soto. Look, allow him to be on the court a lot this season. But he has this opportunity now. And he has to, he has to make a big impact. I like what they've seen early. The first possession, they try to get it down low to Baines. And then they got Sophie a good clean look. One of nine from deep on Wednesday night. A good pass by Kai Soto to Detch. Detch was wide open. Big Baines was both feet deep in the paint. Gives him a wide open look. He knocks it down. Is White skipping into the paint from close range. Couldn't come to his old club as well. A little chat with Sobe and Jason Gaddy before the tip. Sobe with it. Guarded by Sunday dead. Shot clock to single digits. He elevates and shook. Wants his chances here. Spins baseline. Mitch McCann gets it done. Chance at a three-point play. It's a strong play. I mean, that's a mismatch easy. Mitch McCann's a big, strong guard who likes to post. And quarter. It's yeah. not, is it? No, it's not enough. And he, there's Aaron Baines. Good defense there from Kai Soto. He's out to be more aggressive this year. So we've only seen any glimpses. This is Cleveland. Working inside past Mitchell, elevate here. They've scored the last eight points, and already Greg Vanderjad and Brisbane need top. Adelaide looking striking tonight in their Indigenous jersey as well. It was designed by teenager Monica Turner Collins, who's not a bad footballer herself and appears to have a career in that. But I spoke with her at the launch, and she was real keen for her artwork. They all are. As you see them across the front of your screen. If you do get your hands on one, make sure you do understand the story behind it. Every single one is unique and very special. It's one of the, if not. It's the best round of the year, other than the grand final series, maybe. But it is all one group. So we can't control anything else above us. Let's just control what happens between the white lines. Here's Mitchell working baseline, ran into a dead end against Soto. Came on with it, though. Came up. And now Adelaide get a look at a three. Sunday Ditch knocks down another. So they've scored 11. WNBA, AFLW. Whatever you like. A sort of drop kick of basketball, three-quarter court in as well. While she was... In the WM start that you want when a, a team is wounded, a lot of players are out and struggling on and off the court. This is exactly what you want to do attack them and take advantage. Soto can't get it going. I'm going over the travel there too, Kai Soto, just trying to get his feet set. And Adelaide's biggest issue it's a good little high low pass. Foul call before. Firstly, Gorjov Gak has been terrific in his minutes. I think he sure has. They need to lock in on the defensive end. And they've started really well here. Giving up 90 points a game is not going to help you win a title. Once he, once, sorry, sorry, Jason. Once Ian Clark comes in, that championship experience, he will be the leader to make sure that, look, guys, this is how we're going to play deep. Free up a bit of Sunday Dench and even Mitch McCarron to be like, okay. Take Jack to the free throw. I'd love to get him on the pass. That'll be, that'll be all laps. Trimmings pass intended. To... They've been treating it like a mini training camp, like halfway through the season. It's the second season. Putting them on the baseline, making them do sprints, is certainly showing new energy in this uh, 36ers team. Elevation from Christmas Park there. Couldn't get it done. Soto the rebound. Just joined us. Soto starting the game. No Daniel Johnson tonight for Adelaide with a gastro problem. This Sunday, Litch has been... Yeah, good first step inside. Ooh. Trimming and dead points it was. 97 to 72 Tasmania. An opening night in Adelaide. So a chance here for the 36ers. Lead by fifth. Brisbane. We've played 14 of their 28 already. Adelaide by a game by 17 here at the moment for the free throw line. We try by weight to get some offense. Well, White going to the line is pretty efficient, but <laughs> see the reaction. Woo! Front row behind him was special as well. Some blood on the floor here. 
Oh, he's, he's hurt his hand on the rim. Might need to get him an oxygen mask as well, Antonio's <laughs> Cleveland. He's he has hurt his hand on the rim. He's done himself a mischief, so they'll attend to that. He used to do that all the time on the net. Nothing worse. <laughs> Indeed, from the land of plenty. Couldn't finish it. Gack, the offensive rebound. Gets wide involved. He tries his luck from deep. That's off the mark as well, but they're going to get it back again. Yeah, they've got more energy now. Mm-hmm. Have the bullets. Jack doing a great job on the old boards. He turns the corner and one. Switched up the defense. Oh. In the zone, and now here we go. Kai Soto into the game. That's what you can do. You're going to see. The zone working really well for him, so expect to see a lot more of it um, coming into the game. It's McCarran. It's on Sunday, Detch had traveled. Therese didn't see it that way. Active hands from Gak there. In behind Soto, dislodged the ball. White has Bark running for him, but nothing on offer. And timeout CJ for sure. Miss Kadi from close range does jump. Kadi is making it happen here for Brisbane. They're back to within seven on an 11 0 run of their own. That's not going to get it done. Just the three ball in the corner. That's like steadying the ship for Adelaide back into double digits to lead. Kadi is really cooking. White needed to do better from close range. He retrieves it now. Gets Froling a look against his former team. That's a long range. Soto inside. Crosses his way up against Froling. He did a good job defensively. Now Drimmick gets it from Ditch. Shot clock to 10. Soto. One step from the foul line. Those games where you want to do something different, kind of make it ugly. Bain's off the marks. Now one of nine from long range for Brisbane. They need a plan B. As Franks wrestles off Bark, but now he's coughed it up under pressure. Bark will take Soto on, use the rim for protection, helps himself to two more. And they'll find their three-point shooting woes, Brisbane, where they are one of nine in the game. Stand-up timeout, which means don't bring the microphone here. There are things that we want to discuss privately. Man, this is a good idea. It's going to be a big spray because they just look flat. And this is what I talk about, the danger. So Brisbane came out flat. We start to do Tassie on opening night by 25. They lost by 29 at home to Brisbane. Perth by eight after they led by 18 earlier in this quarter as Mitch McCarran surveys his options, goes on with the dribble, couldn't finish it, gets his own rebound. We'll now find Kai Soto from close range and he gets it done. That's a better shot. There you go, 10 feet in the paint. Not from the free throw line. Deed's been excellent in this second quarter for Brisbane. They left Baines open, it's off the mark. Adelaide through Cleveland, come back hard the other way. Sobe puts it on the deck, kicks it outside, now back from McCarran. Soto posting up Baines down on the low block. Wants to take on the big man and does it nicely as well. And that's a beautiful take. Good ball movement, getting the ball from one hand. One teammate to the next, find, find the big fella on the post. Makes a high percentage play. In this first half, Drimmick works on Sobe, teammates last year in Brisbane. Flips it up, unsuccessful. He's been the go-to player for Brisbane here in this second quarter. And that's why oh, nice feet. Excellent. Rolls to single digits. Plus to Cleveland. Soto at close quarters. Decides to go solo. Can't complete it. Sobe. Right now for the Adelaide 36 is your main offensive threat, which is Robert Franks, is just putting up a tent in the corner. You've got to get him involved on the offensive end. And down this end, they are just falling apart. Rolling can't convert from close range. Here's Baines working with the left hand, and that tumbles for me. Cleaned it up. It's a bucket nonetheless. Here's Franks now. It's two of five from the field. Everyone has their main focus on the offensive end, and it's Robert Franks. We've been saying it even before. Craig Randall left. It had to be more of him, even against the zone. But now that they've got out of the zone, just sitting in the corner. He doesn't have to shoot every time, but he's got to be part of that offense. It's, he comes up short there, and you know the Adelaide 36 is Oh, you know what this is. You, that's when he's at his best, grabbing a rebound. One man fast break. Margin back to 12 as Baines takes them on at the other end unsuccessfully, and hits Cleveland once more. The support gets Uh-oh. it back from McCarran upstairs that time. Just running out of a little bit of sense of end. Get rebounds, get stops. And when this 